folks, Andrew from City Fox Gaming here. Just wanted to quick update you with where I'm at now. It's getting pretty close. Uh, it's Monday night right now, and uh, what I've got done so far is pretty encouraging. Um, over the weekend, I was able to finish off. So far, I've got all of the skinks done. I've got all of the source warriors done. I've got all of the cold one cavalry done. I've got one of my skink priests done, I've got the Bastilla done, done. I've got the Slan done. Um, so all that leaves right now is uh, I've got half of the Ripper Dactyls done, I just need to do the skinks on the back of those and one more skink priest. Uh, after that everything will be base coated and ready to go, I just need to do my dip in. Oh, got it right here, I'll show you what the product I'm using is. Stuff right here. Midden wax poly shades. This is a. Uh, I'm using the antique walnut. I've been led to believe that's approximately the same as the army painter. I believe it's strong. It's their middle one. Um, it gives a, a pretty good, uh, almost a sepia tinting and and shade to everything. So that's that's what I've got going on tomorrow night, um, and then. A major hiccup that I've hit is that the bases and movement trays that I ordered haven't come in yet. It's probably my fault. I probably ordered them a little bit later than I should have. Um, if they don't come tomorrow in the mail, I'm probably going to have some issues. Maybe Wednesday if they come, uh, I'll still be able to pull something out. Otherwise, I'm going to have to scramble to find uh, bases for everything. Um, the only other things I have to do is once I do get the bases or whatever I'm going to use as bases, I have to uh, just whip up a quick uh, 40 millimeter, um, uh, what, what are they calling it, it's a marker essentially uh, for use in objectives and scenarios, scenario marker, there you go. And then I'm also, I have planned a, uh, a five, I guess a, a five model replacement uh, just throw in with my Saurus Warriors, just a, just a little filler. I'm planning on doing like a little fallen obelisk or a, a snake sculpture. I'm going to try out both with pink foam. I'm just going to go with whatever uh, kind of works best. Uh, it'll take me about you know, 15, 20 minutes to do both or either. So we'll see how that works out. Hopefully stuff comes tomorrow. Uh, one thing that did come today, I thought it might have been uh, my bases. One thing that did come today is uh, I did a Kickstarter for this a while ago. Um, it's Games and Gears did a, what do they call it here, the Ichiban Studio Pro Line brushes. Uh, let's see, I don't know if you can read that there. Probably not. It's pretty small writing. Um, basically, this is the brush here. Pretty cool. It's made of aluminum. And it comes in this nifty little case. Uh, I believe it's uh, a 2, a 1, a 0, and a double zero. So it comes in the, the base set. These are going to be available in stores real soon, I guess. Um, pull out the brush right there, just like that, ready to go. Once you're done, clean it back up. Just like that, protected. Put it back in your case, and you're off to the races again. So these are pretty nifty. I got these, like I said, from a Kickstarter. Um, I'm pretty pleased with them. I, I painted a little bit with them tonight and they, they did real well. Uh, so if you're interested in those, uh, it's Games and Gears is the name of the company and it's the Ichiban Pro line. I think they did a couple other things. They have a freehand brush coming out, a little stand, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. I think maybe a soap. So um, that's where I'm at now. I'll uh, throw some of the models that I finished tonight up here so you can see them. and. I hope to see you again tomorrow night or Wednesday, and I'll give you the uh, final updates. Have a good night.